I'm Chris, and today we're gonna repin a lock. Let's do this real quick. Whether you're repinning the lock or changing the whole lock out, the first step is the same. You wanna start by removing the lock from the door. Once you have the lock removed from the door, it's time to go ahead and start disassembling it. Do this with caution and with care. There might be some pins in there that are spring-loaded, there might be little tiny pieces that you don't want to lose, and you also don't want to forget the order of everything you take apart so that you can put it back in the correct order. For this particular older quick set lock, we're going to start by taking the retaining clip off of the back, and then remove the driver, the tailpiece, the cam, whatever you want to call it. To get the plug out, you want to take your key and insert it into the lock and rotate it so the lock is unlocked. And then you want to take your plug follower and slowly insert it into the back and with firm even pressure push the plug out towards the front. Go ahead and set the brass body and the lock housing aside for now. You want to try to be careful that you don't dump the key pins from the plug all over the place and lose them. I'm going to use a little homemade pinning tray just to keep everything neat and organized. There's really not much difference between the new pins and the old pins other than the new pins are color coded because they're in a kit and with that kit you're going to get everything you need to rekey your locks. And all you have to do is follow the instructions of the kit so you know which pin to put in which spot in the core that corresponds with the key that came with your kit. Alternatively, you could take your old pins and reposition them in the core and make your own key if you really want. This way it saves you even more money and all you need is a new key. You can also buy these repinning kits and they're going to allow you to repin a number of different locks all the same so that you're really rekeying your locks with all the same key, eliminating keys from your key ring. Now before you go ahead and put that brass plug back into that brass body, it's a good idea to take your new key and insert it into the plug to make sure that all the key pins are nice and flush with the top of that plug, meaning that they're nice and flush with the shear line, that you have the correct order of pins with the correct key, and everything's gonna work perfect. When you go to insert the brass plug back into the brass body, you don't wanna put it straight in. You want to rotate it slightly so the top pins have somewhere to ride onto. Otherwise, it's going to lock the lock up and you're going to have a tough time getting it back out of there. In our case, we're going to take the brass body and insert it back into the lock housing. And then we're going to slowly insert the plug. And here, I'm going to use the key to keep all those pins right at the shear line. And I'm also going to rotate the plug slightly when I'm putting it back into the brass body just so that those top pins aren't going to go flying out anywhere. I'm going to rotate the key back so it's actually locked. Now whatever you do, do not try to pull the key out right now without that retaining clip on the back because if you do that, the whole core is going to come out, all the driver pins are going to come flying out, all the springs are going to come flying out, and you're going to have a real mess on your hands. So what you want to do first is go ahead and get the retaining clip and the tailpiece and put those back together on the lock first. Once you have that retaining clip on, it's safe to go ahead and test the lock, rotate the core, make sure it really turns nice and smooth, and then it's really safe to go ahead and pull that key right out of there. And now we can go ahead and start to put this lock together so that we can get it ready to put it back on the door. Now I like to make sure that the key is in the unlock position and that the deadbolt itself and the tailpiece all line up and they're all in the unlock position and even the turn knob on the back of the door. Make sure that's in the unlock position as well so that when you put it all back together, the throw of the deadbolt's going to be correct, everything's going to work the way it should and you're not going to have any issues. I have confidence that you can get this done correctly. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video interesting or helpful in rekeying your locks and it was a smooth success, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much.